スです。If you want cheap and reliable free 4D no limiting coins for all platforms, check out MMOJ. Link will be in the description. Also in the description is a video proving they are legit. Right, you know, I've just decided to do this fucking vlog in one section. I, as soon as I saw the lineup, I had no faith really. Like, as soon as I see Valencia, Cleverly, Young, and Carrick as our four midfielders, it's bound to be shit this season. They cannot work. You know, we go 1-0 down to a deflection goal again uh, before half-time. You know, that's about the 8th this season, right? Yeah, fairly unlucky, but we didn't create any chances whatsoever in the first half. It, Olympiacos didn't create too many, but they were on top. And then the second goal, you cannot take anything away from whoever the hell it was who scored. I got pissed off, so I, I don't know. But, um... It was a great goal, he dribbled past, <sighs> couldn't tell you, and then he finesses it around Ferdinand, who's had an awful game. You know, the entire team had an awful game, albeit Rooney. You know you're having a bad game when Carrick can't fucking find a pass. You know you're having a flat, bad game when Van Persie misses a sitter from 8 yards out as our first chance in the 80th minute. You know, the thing that's pissing me off the most, it deserved to be 2-0. We deserved nothing from that game. We played like fucking dog shit. And we need to turn it around in, uh, at Old Trafford. If we do not, then we're fucked. There's nothing good to come out of that game. The fucking subs... Well, actually, yes, there is. As soon as Kagawa got subbed on, he actually risked, okay? As soon as we were 2-0 down, my brother would start watching it with me. And I said, I said, we're going to pass it to the goalkeeper all the time. Four or five times, what do you know, it goes back to De Gea. As soon as Kagawa subbed on, right... He risks, okay, they might have not paid off, but he tries to get the through ball in instead of passing it backwards to the defence. When you're 2-0 down, he through balls it, Ever nearly catches on. Couple, like, a few minutes later, he dribbles past a couple of players, finds Young, who's fucking shit. All he does is his little step overs and his little fucking bullshit crosses that are fucking wang, right? Then you've got Kagawa again, who later on finds Evra, who should have took it second time to get it into Van Persie, who was in, uh, in space takes another touch and it deflects off him and the keeper, keeper catches it. Just such a shit performance, right? If we play like that in the second leg, we're going to lose 2-0 again, minimum. You know, I would have took a 2-1 loss. Like, that would have been a fucking brilliant result for that performance. It was that shit, okay? When we don't have players like Yanazai, players like Mata, who was obviously an el eligible, players like Bellini, players like fucking... That's it. That's it, if we do not have, oh well, Kagawa, sorry, I've already said him though. If we don't have any of them on, there's no hope. Like, I hope we do a massive clear out, I couldn't give a fuck, okay? Football is about money now. If we do a massive clear out, we'll stand a chance. Get rid of dog shit like Cleverly, Young, fucking, Ferdinand's getting too old, he, he's not an athlete at all, and he's showed it the last two games. He's been so shit to be honest I love Ferdinand right but now's the time for him to retire he cannot play football at the age he is he's just he's, he's just not there yes we have injuries to uh, Evans and Jones which is why Smalling's pushed back to a right back where he doesn't suit he's got to be a centre back alongside Vidic who we're also losing in summer so we need some drastic changes and that performance just proves it yeah we might be copying City and Chelsea spending money but that's the way football goes. Look at Monaco getting promoted and they're second in League One. Yes, it's not the most challenging league, but for any team to get promoted in any league and come second at the minute, which is where they are, proves like there's other teams that do not have money that just go down and down and down. We we need to spend and that that's it. Like every team does now. If you don't spend you go down. So, you know. That's my rant over, I suppose. But yeah, 2 0 completely deserved to Olympiacos. Well done to them. But Honestly, that midfield is fucking shit. But anyway, let me know what you thought about the match. Like, honestly, I know a lot of my subs are my new fans, so I feel your pain. It's fucking ridiculous. But yeah, um, Dortmund beat Zenit 4-2. And I bet you any money Chelsea and Real Madrid win. So we'll be the only away side that hasn't won in the Champions League yet. Fucking pitiful. Bring on the second leg. We need a fucking win. But anyway, yeah, hope you have enjoyed and peace.